Yo, what's up Team Lit? This is your guy Dan Tanner from Tanner Soul Lit. And people, today I'm about to go ahead and go into another carrier store, buy a phone, and we're going to unbox it and review it. Oh, Unbelievable! I'm still in a state of shock right now. In fact, I don't think I'm going to be coming down for a long period of time. Yeah. So enough of me yapping. Hey, yo, it's time to make it happen. Let's go. All right, cool, everybody. Y'all know Xfinity Mobile is one of the biggest sponsors, well, the big sponsors of my channel and everything, but today we're going to try, um, we're going to flip this around a little bit. It was a Metro by T-Mobile. You know what I'm saying? We about to go up in there and cop something. All right, family. The phone that I chose was this here Samsung Galaxy A32 5G. Claude Hammers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Came in a minimalistic standard box, nothing fancy and all that. But yo, let's see what's inside this box. Let's go. Okay, inside the box was these pamphlets, instructions, terms and conditions and all that. Yes sir, yes sir. USB-C cable, and dig this. Fast charging brick. 15 watt fast charging brick. What? So yes, this free device or device that I got for free from Metro has fast charging on deck. That's what's up. And last but not least, the star of the show, ha <laughs> ha, the Samsung Galaxy A32 5G. The color of the feng shui is charcoal gray. Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's made out of high gloss plastic and all that. So people, let's take a tour. At the bottom of the phone, you get your headphone jack, microphone, USB-C port, and speaker. On the right side of the phone, Get your power button slash fingerprint sensor and volume rocker. At the top of the device, you see you got another noise canceling microphone. And on the left hand side, you got your SIM tray slash SD card slot. Okay! As far as the back of the phone, you got a high gloss plastic finish and all that. It looks like glass, so it's called glassic and all that. And man, this right here is definitely a fingerprint magnet, no question about it. But up top to the left, you got four cameras. The main sensor is 48 megapixels. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And then you got an ultra wide shooter that's eight megapixels. And then you got a depth sensor that's two megapixels. But right here, the little one, that one to the right is the macro lens. That's five megapixels. And under that is the multicolored LED flash. And then at the bottom of the back, you get the Samsung logo tastefully put. And then when it comes to the front of the phone, there's a massive 6.5 inch display and a front facing camera. And when it comes to this phone's battery size, this boy right here is rocking a 5,000 milliamp battery. That's right, 5,000. So what that means is it's all day and half the next day of battery life without even charging it over and over again. So with the LCD panel on the front, man, you're gonna have great battery life out this phone. But I'm not gonna jump the gun yet. I'm gonna leave that to my full review because this right here is the unboxing and first impressions. What? And when it comes to onboard storage, this boy right here is rocking 64 gigs of memory. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But the memory is expandable, so you can go ahead and put in your SD card and expand it even more. No doubt about it. And 64 gigs, for me, is more than enough because I store most of my stuff in the cloud. And as far as the performance of the phone so far, as you can see, pretty fast and smooth. Not complaining one bit. Man, it's 88 degrees out here in Chicago today. Woo, it was hot. Hot and humid. But man, no complaints about the way that this phone moves. I don't see any lag or nothing so far. So for a free phone, this is pretty lit. Another thing that I like about this budget phone is, is that I'm used to the Samsung tray. You know what I'm saying? I had plenty of Samsung phones before. And basically has all the options like the power saving mode, you know what I'm saying? Auto rotate on deck, dark mode and everything that's available in the tray. Because on some Samsung phones, those options aren't available. And when it comes to the camera app, here's the layout. Up top, you got the settings wheel, flash, timer, aspect ratio, and feng shui right there. That's where you can add all the filters and all that jazz to your photos or videos. Then at the bottom, you got options for photo, portrait, 
fun. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to get into it. So by the time I do the full review, you're going to know about it. Let me scroll back. Video and more. And inside the more panel, you got AR Google, promo, panorama, food right there for the foodies out there who like to take pictures of their food, which is lit. Night sight mode right there. Macro, when you want to get up close and personal, but still have that bokeh feng shui on deck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Slow motion and hyperlapse. And also, there's more than one way to get in this phone right here. Like right here, you got the power button slash fingerprint sensor. And also, you can log into the phone and unlock the lock screen by using face recognition or face unlock. Now, if you're wondering if this phone has always on display, no, it does not. This is a budget device, and right now, Metro by T-Mobile has this on sale for free when you go ahead and purchase the $60 plan and also 99 bucks for when you go ahead and choose the $45 plan. So I'm not expecting too much out of it, man. But so far, it's pretty lit. And as far as the way that this device feels in a hand for a 6.5 larger phone, in my taste, it feels pretty good, no question about it. And I love the design language. But as you can see, this right here is definitely a dusted fingerprint magnet. <laughs> Man, you got to keep your microfiber cleaning cloths on deck to shine it on up and everything. But you can solve that by getting a case, so that's no biggie at all. But as far as the way that this phone looks for a $100 phone or a free phone you can get on a sale of special, man, the feng shui of this boy right here is absolutely nuts. I like it. I really do. Well, all right, everybody. That should just about do it for this one. If you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your guy and Metro by T-Mobile a thumbs up because that's official. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole dripping madness of Dan Tanner and Team Lit, then man, do that too because that's official too. All right, everybody. Get money. Get respect. And enjoy your tech. Be easy.